okay welcome all in this lecture we would like to see the salient results from the erosion studies of silicon carbide tungsten carbide composites so these composites were prepared with change in tungsten carbide content from 0 to 58 percent so sw0 means silicon carbide without any tungsten carbide sw10 means silicon carbide with 10 weight percent tungsten carbide 30 means silicon carbide with 38 percent silicon carbide and 50 means silicon carbide with 58 percent tungsten carbide so these composites were prepared by hot pressing and the microstructures of the silicon carbide tungsten carbide composites after fracture appear like this so there is a intergranular fracture dominated for the silicon carbide without having any tungsten carbide content at the same time the transgranular fracture is dominating when the tungsten carbide content is increased so overall the fracture occurs by both intergranular and transgranular the domination of intergranular is found in silicon carbide uh, ceramics whereas the domination of transgranular fracture is found with increase in the tungsten carbide content in the silicon carbide ceramics so in addition to that so the tungsten carbide particles the white one or the tungsten carbide particles these are uniformly distributed in the sw30 sample and you can also see the agglomerations of tungsten carbide particles in sw50 sample so the microstructural investigation also shows that the average grain size decreased from 835 nanometers for the silicon carbide to 578 nanometers for the silicon carbide with 58 percent tungsten carbide the interparticle distance also decreases with the increase in tungsten carbide content and you, you see the hardness the hardness is maximum for the sw30 composite where there is a uniform distribution of the tungsten carbide particles in the sic matrix and the fracture toughness increases from 5.85 to 6.66 ampere root meter with increase in tungsten carbide content from 0 to 58 percent so these composites were subjected to erosion so the erosion was carried out by using a erodent particles of aluminum oxide or silicon carbide having a particle size range between 50 to 70 micron meter so these particles were impinged at a particular velocity on the sample and the sample is tilted so that there is an impingement angle change from 30 to 60 to 90 degrees keeping a working distance of 4 mm and keeping the mass flow rate of 3 gram per minute so we conducted all these experiments for the composites at the room temperature initially then we also did at high temperature but initially the room temperature particularly at 90 degrees impingement angle you can see the erosion test results erosion test results were actually like uh, in terms of erosion rate is a volumetric material removed per the uh, amount of the erodent used in the experiment so we used this erosion rate as a measurement for the erosion wear so we found a steady state condition in which the weight loss is consistent so in, uh, in initial stages of the erosion the weight loss increases and then after certain time the weight loss does not change much so we found a suitable time where the weight loss remains constant so we call it as a steady state and we selected the time such that the steady state is uh, present for a considerable uh, time so the weight loss which can be taken as a characteristic the measure of the material in the erosion conditions the weight loss is converted to volumetric loss because we know the density so and then the volumetric loss divided by the 
amount of erodent used, so we get a erosion rate. So, at ang at 90 degrees angle alumina when alumina erodent was used you can see this silicon carbide with tungsten carbide composites they have a erosion rate changing from around 7 uh, to around 20 mm cube per kilogram whereas silicon carbide you can see is you can see it is varying from 850 to 1223 mm cube per kg. So, first of all there is a large difference between the erosion rate for the ceramic composites eroded by alumina and eroded by silicon carbide and the erosion rate observed when erodent of silicon carbide was used was very high. So, it is it is almost two orders of magnitude higher than that obtained using alumina erodent and in addition to that we also can find this SW30 shows minimum erosion rate either alumina erodent condition or silicon carbide erodent condition. So, we got the minimum wear of, uh, for the SW30. So, SW30 which is silicon carbide with 38 percent tungsten carbide composite which has the uniform distribution of these tungsten carbide particles and also exhibited uh, in, uh, higher hardness. So, you can see this the surfaces after erosion with different erodents at this 90 degrees angle. So, the pull out is generally observed because this is a ceramic material. So, at 90 degrees there is a large amount of fracture occurring and this leads to the material removal. So, the silicon carbide ceramic or the silicon carbide tungsten carbide composites they are eroded mainly by the pull out of these particles of particles are the grains. The pull out of tungsten carbide particles can be seen in the compo in the composite in the composite you can see the particles are removed from the surface whereas, the removal of the silicon carbide grains also observed. So, in both cases the particles are removed or fractured or the grains of silicon carbide are removed or fractured. So, the material is removed mainly by the mechanical aspect. So, one more important observation from this study is the alumina having relatively lesser hardness than the silicon carbide. So, it is actually giving a lower erosion when used the silicon carbide. So, if you take the hardness ratio of hardness ratio of erodent to the target material, the hardness ratio lower ratios of this particle to target in case of alumina erodent particles indicates less damage of the ceramic composites when compared that against to the silicon carbide erodent particles. So, this part of the part study particularly shows there is an effect of the erodent used or in other words there is an effect of the hardness of the eros erodent used on the material removal in the erosion conditions we did this silicon carbide tungsten carbide composites erosion study at high temperatures because these composites are attractive materials for high temperature erosion conditions. So, it is very interesting to understand the erosion behavior at high temperature with the same setup for this erosion study we use the silicon carbide particle only because now we came to know that silicon carbide only give, gives the maximum erosion than the alumina. So, our idea is to understand the material removal when they were subjected to severe conditions of the erosion. So, erodent particle SIC was used. So, this erosion was, sub, was done at a high temperature of 800 Celsius with a change in angle. Now, let us see the erosion rate. So, again the weight loss measurement was used and then we converted into volumetric loss and divided by the erodent used the amount of erodent used to get a erosion rate. 
erosion rate. So, if you see here with increase in angle for any material either it is silicon carbide or silicon carbide tungsten carbide composite there is an increase in the erosion rate with angle the erosion rate increases. So, it is generally understood for a brittle material when the angle is at uh, higher then there is a lot of cracking occurring that cracking leads to the fracture and then material removal compared to that from the uh, lower angle conditions. So, similarly the erosion rate for these materials also increases with the impact angle. With respect to the composition the silicon carbide 30 percent tungsten carbide composite always exhibited lower erosion rate. So, at any angle of impingement this SW 30 exhibited lower erosion rate. So, let us understand this by observing the surfaces of the ceramic composites after this erosion. So, after erosion the silicon carbide without having any tungsten carbide. So, it just showed the fracture of the silicon carbide grains, but the fracture actually decreased from 90 degrees to 30 degrees. So, you can see certain deformed grains are the compacted grains which are deformed at lower angles whereas, large amount of fracture occurring at the higher uh, angles. So, similarly for the composites silicon carbide tungsten carbide composites those were eroded at that high temperature and then at normal impact again the fracture of the silicon carbide uh, grains decreased with the increase in the tungsten carbide content from 0 to 58 percent. And but the fracture is uh, the fracture actually decreased up to a 38 percent and now after this 38 percent the 50 percent containing 50 percent tungsten carbide containing silicon carbide showed more amount of removal. So, you can see the pull out of this tungsten carbide particles on the fracture of these tungsten carbide particles and the particles are more or less like agglomerated things. So, if you can remember our fracture, fracture surface of this material, this material particularly has the agglomerated tungsten carbide particles in a matrix of silicon carbide. So, tungsten carbide being very heavy if the material removed is more or less like agglomerated part agglomeration of number of tungsten carbide particles the weight loss will be also very high right. Remember these experiments were done at high temperature there is already a thermal stress generated and the thermal stress generated these thermal stresses will be high at those defect sites of agglomerates of tungsten carbide particularly in this SW 50 there was a large amount of agglomeration. So, the highest thermal stress concentration at the defect sites of this agglomerates of tungsten carbide lead to the high erosion wear. So, you get a maximum wear for the ceramics having this kind of agglomerated uh, tungsten carbide particles. So, the fracture of these grains decreased with increase in tungsten carbide content, but the decrease is restricted up to the 30 percent tungsten carbide containing ceramic composites. So, it implies actually the domination of hardness during erosion of composites. So, if you can remember our the hardness data the hardness was also very high uh, among the investigated composites the hardness was high for the SW 30 around 26 giga Pascal whereas, others have around 23 to 24 giga Pascal. So, the uniform distribution of these tungsten carbide particles resultant into a higher hardness and the higher hardness actually uh, led to the lesser amount of material removal in these erosion conditions. So, the fracture and pull out uh, pull out decrease with the tungsten carbide content up to 38 percent even at an other angles. Less removal of tungsten carbide particles in these SW 50 led to the less fracture at the lower angles that when you compare with the uh, with respect to angle again the same uh, the fracture induced maximum wear at the highest angle.
So, again you can see this 30 degrees angle, 30 degrees angle again the fracture is minimum for the SW 30 whereas, lot of amount lot amount lot of tungsten carbide particles are removed and then they are fractured the grains are fractured and tungsten carbide particles are fractured at for the SW 50. So, compared to again 90 degrees, so the fracture is less for any given composite. EDS analysis of these composites after high temperature erosion show there is a presence of oxygen in addition to the silicon or the tungsten. So, this indicates there is a formation of oxides of silicon or tungsten on the eroded surface. So, we also conducted an x-ray diffraction analysis of this composite surface composite after this high temperature erosion. This shows silicon carbide tungsten carbide and also the oxides of silicon tungsten. So, several oxides of the silicon or tungsten are available on the uh, eroded surface. So, this is also in agreement with the EDS analysis. So, it actually indicates there is a there is a oxida oxidation at high temperature and then this oxide surface when subjected to erosion. So, there is a increased amount of oxide and which are predominantly present on the oxide surf uh, on the eroded surface. So, this erosion is influenced by these oxides which are formed at the high temperature. So, let us conclude these results the erodent particle hardness significantly affected the time required for reaching the steady state as well as the extent of material removal for the investigated silicon carbide tungsten carbide composites. In uh, the silicon carbide tungsten carbide composites show improved wear resistance at higher temperature with reinforcement of tungsten carbide particles up to 38 percent. So, at normal impact these ceramics show fracture and pull out of the grains as dominant material removal mechanisms whereas, when you have the tungsten carbide also in the microstructure first the tungsten carbide particles are removed then fractured followed by the fracture of the silicon carbide grains are their removal. So, tungsten carbide particles show fracture and removal of itself for these composites particularly when the tungsten carbide content is high then you have large amount of these particles removal in terms of the agglomer agglomerated agglomeration. So, when you have an agglomerated sites those are actually sites for the higher stress concentrations. So, up to 38 percent tungsten carbide the silicon carbide ceramics composites show higher wear resistance in the investigated erosion conditions. Thank you. Let us continue this with the next.